Pastor Vernon Bryce here again. I want to talk to my pastors. I want to talk to my pastors and I want to talk to you about, let's just get real. Pastors, I know you have a team around you, but because you think it's your church, it's really not your church. It's they are looking towards you to be a leader. They need leadership in this time of pandemic, epidemic, injustice, inequality. They need leadership. And the reality is the leadership role is yours. It's ours. We got to understand it's easy to wear the crown when the crown is light. But heavy is the crown in this day and time. You honestly can't preach to tickle ears anymore. You got to get the boldness to tell the truth. If you were to preach from Romans 12 and 1, I would guarantee you, and if you did it on live streaming or Facebook or YouTube or whatever social media class you have, I would guarantee you, you would get some feedback and some people would probably even stop following you because Romans 12 and 1 would have you dealing with uh, sexual immorality and homosexuality. And nobody wants to talk against that, but it is something that the Bible talks against. You couldn't even talk about uh, uh, Hebrews 12 and 1, if you will. I mean, not Hebrews 12 and 1, but Hebrews 1, and talk about how our forefathers went on the rampage of talking about things that thus says the Lord, and they got beheaded, softened, uh, sawed in half. They got thrown to lions. They got thrown in a furnace. But you got to stand for something. You got to stand for what the Word of God is telling us to stand for because it is pertinent that people hear the truth. They are hurting in our society, and we got to make sure that we are preaching a true gospel. You know and I know that if you were to preach the truth, somebody's going to come against you. And you don't have to get outside your own church. They're going to come against you, believing that you're talking about them. And the only way you're talking about them is that the shoe fit. One thing I love about God's Word, it never con uh, it never talks against us as far as trying to uh, 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 condemn us, but it always convicts us of what we're doing. And once we be convicted of what we're doing by God's Word, He gives us an opportunity to get it right. So we want to make sure that we are always doing what needs to be done. We got to teach the truth with boldness. We have to use uh, what I call uh, a Paul evangelism. If you know the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul, if he's not there in time right now, I don't think he would even take the time to ask us how we reach in the masses. He would look around us and say, you're not using this and you're not using that platform and you're not using that platform. Why not? You know, Paul was straight to the point, and you don't want to mess around with Paul, because Paul would, uh, you know, before he became an apostle, would have you killed. And after he became an apostle, he could preach until you fell out of wonder, they are dead, but he would revive you. That's a little uh, preacher humor right there, just a little preacher humor. But we've got to understand that it's time that we be hard or bold leaders. We can't be faint-hearted leaders. We cannot be faint-hearted leaders because that's not going to help our ministry, it is not going to help those we're ministering to. We got to understand that even though we're going to take persecution, and I know you cannot get the promise without the persecution. All of God's promises are yes and amen, but they come with persecution. We got to do what I call a gut check. We got to reevaluate the way we're doing things in ministry. We got to be what I call on the cutting edge. If you're going to, you don't have to have the top of the line. Uh, equipment, but you do have to get in the game, Pastor. You do have to get in the game. If you have a cell phone and it's called a smartphone, you are, I'm pretty sure you have access to some kind of social media platform. So use your social media platform to reach the masses. That's how you grow your ministry. That's how you grow, if you will, your numbers. That's how you grow in reaching the masses. We have a mandate that we must reach the masses. And we got to do that right now. We got to preach the word of God with boldness. We have to preach the love of God to people. We have to preach to our community. Our community is looking for leaders, not just in the church, but in the community. We got to reach outside the four walls and go to work. I think right now, in this time of pandemic, I believe right now God has used this pandemic to reveal the hearts of mankind. And right now, our hearts have been revealed. There's no excuse for not still reaching the masses with the social media platform. We must keep it real by reaching the masses. I know some of us are like me, old school, but you gotta break the old school tradition and get outside. It's important 
that we reach the masses. That's how we reach the lost, the unsaved, the unchurched, the unbeliever. That's how we reach them. It's more people on Facebook than in church. Just look around your, uh, your building every, every, every week. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can testify to that. So we got to understand that we got to preach healing because people are hurting. They're scared. They're panicking over the pandemic. We must preach healing. We got to preach the love. We got to preach com uh, compassion. We just got to, what I call, get outside our uh, stagnation, our four walls, and go outside and beat the heads of the highways. I'm not talking about going door to door. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. But I'm talking about using what you have to reach the people in the heads of the highways and byways. Do you know how many people you probably can reach on a social media platform in one day? Probably double or triple what's in your church on Sundays. Think about it. Just think about that for a minute. Now, we got to be sure that we are doing the things that are going on. We got to make sure we got to do the things that need to be going on in the world today. We got to meet people right where they are. We have to meet people where they are. Be where it may. That's not necessarily going where they are, but meet them where they are. They may not want to come to church yet because of the pandemic. They're watching the news. You know the news media is going to always hype things up and make things worse than what they are. But you know there are some people recovering from COVID-19, just like people are dying from COVID-19. There are still people dying from diabetes. There are people recovering from diabetes. But we cannot be afford to be afraid of what God has told us to do during this time. In darkness, light shine the brightest, and we should be the light in our community. So I leave this with you, my pastors. Check yourself. Do a reevaluation. Do a gut check. Are you doing the things you need to do? And look at yourself from the Word of God and ask yourself, are you being real? This is Pastor Vernon Bryce. I approve of this message, and I hope it made sense to you. Thank you. Have a great day.